and welcome to Joseph's Model Railway and Toy Room. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, you don't need to like, follow or subscribe. I just put the videos out there where I can and have a jolly good time doing so. Before we get started today, I need to take a quick serious note about a product that we probably all use and I just need to make sure you're 100% aware of a safety mechanism that I think you should be using. Gorilla Glue. Yes, not the wood glue, but the actual Gorilla Glue that can bond most things together. It's a wonderful adhesive and it does expand. So please be aware of that. This was just in a small joint I needed to do. And when it dried, of course, it's easy to cut away and we've got a beautiful joint that's very, very solid. However, when I was using it, if a little bit got on my fingers, you've got to be quite quick to deal with it because because it can be a bit of a nasty product. And this is how it can get even more nastier. I had wiped it off my fingers so it wasn't directly on them. And a few little bits had rolled over onto the top parts of my finger. So even when I'd washed my hands, uh, using a product like Solvol liquid soap or some other industrial cleaner, it tends to get it off quite well. But sometimes a little bit might be there. And what had happened is I had bumped some into my hair, it had dried and over time it's expanding. And even as I, it's happened instantly and I'm trying to deal with it, good luck. The great news is got a haircut coming up next week and anything I've missed will disappear. But I'm finding when I am using this particular glue that I'll usually just slip a glove on when I am using it just in case because it is a bit of a nuisance getting it off. And unlike when you're using other adhesives like Loctite 406 or something like that, usually you can get away with quickly using some sort of a nail polish remover or some sort of acetone and generally get most of it off pretty quickly. This is a bit more trickier, so just be careful. This video has now been more than four months in the making. And today we're gonna to be talking about a very special surprise that's been sitting behind me. I have been working so hard to create the exact rural railway crossing that I'm used to seeing. A lot of things were covered to make this particular crossing and we're not gonna go into all the details of how I did it. As I mentioned to you coming up in a video shortly, we're gonna be talking about how I created the actual asphalt roadway and using the Woodland Scenics roadway paving system. Now we're going to go into some explicit detail now that I have more of this magic tape and we're going to talk about that in the upcoming video where we're going to be building our car park for the station which is now ready to go and is the next project I'm going to get stuck into. Cut to the time lapse of the whole process of what we had to do to get where we are but ladies and gentlemen now the feature presentation my beautiful railway crossing. Let's just recap on the previous video. We were achieving these magnificent signposts for our rural type of crossing. So let's get on with creating that rural crossing.
as you saw in the previous video, we've just done our signs. The station has now been located and here is where our station car park will need to be constructed. The entrance road is going to come in, open up and away we go. But certainly for the past few months, I've been very busy on building this feature road section. Now it's still far from finished at the moment. We have a lot of work still to do, but unfortunately there's been a lot of sections that I've had to interconnect and join up. Up to, we'll get rid of this laser, we don't need that anymore. Up to an including, and I'm sorry for all the mess. I should have really have done this before we started the video. I'm tempted to start again. Why would we do that? Including this section of dirt road that's going to open and transition down to where our boat ramp is. Now, it's not that we're actually doing anything with that road just yet, but we still needed the geometry in for where it's actually going to go. We also have our turn off here. I'll leave this gutter piece aside. I need it later on. Um, so this is where we'd li literally drive out, it would open up, and on the other side would be the turn off to the main highway going to this town and to the next town accordingly. We have our two railway lines, of course, and what we have here, we're still waiting on some other details. I've still got to do these tyres in the right colour, and it's not the size I want. But what we've got here is the farmer can come straight in. We're going to have the cows here. Uh, in fact, here's this little truck I've been weathering and working on at the moment. He's going to literally be able to come in over here and there'll be some cows and whatever in this little disused section of track that we've been working on. But we're going to come to that in a later video. So don't worry too much about that. We're just worried about this key road section. And as you've seen in the time lapse, we've tried different things. I've still got to have the service road for the railway department to turn off up into here. But we haven't given it a vacuum or anything. But what we do need to do before we can carry on now is we're now going to finally remove the tape to see how the actual crossings have turned out after we've had so many different types of road covering applied. Again, I'll talk about how we do this road when I do the railway station car park, which is where this little road will bend around the corner. There'll be a feature Christmas tree sitting here and we'll landscape it accordingly. Of course, you can come in on either road access here, and it's usually going to be your boat trailers and that coming along, heading down to the boat ramp to go fishing, and we'll put some sort of feature plant or some sort of memorial or something that's going to sit there. I just haven't decided quite yet. Don't get too worried about the overall color of how things are going, and don't worry the way I sort of applied this and I've ended up with this line. We're going to see clumps of dirt and the grass and all of that's going to blend in nicely in time. I do want to just point out, I did spend some time here just trying to create a bit of a segue. While this is a mostly UK themed model railway with our British rail stock and all the rest of it, there are some, some little moments that bounce back to making me feel comfortable with what I like to see. And that comes from being here in Australia. So don't be surprised when all the line markings represent the way we have them here in Australia. We drive on the left hand side of the road and some of the signs will look more Australian. But I think the overall blend of what we're doing is just going to fit in nicely. And that was always what this is about. Remember, I'm not being to be, trying to be ultra prototypical here. So let us now remove what has been nearly four months of having this tape here as we were building the road and see how bad it could be underneath there. And that is exactly what I was trying to do with that crossing. Let's bring you in now and appreciate it. So what we've done, we've got our textures right the way the, the dirt road was supposed to be traveling in this direction. And the product we've used to create this has, of course, been the Woodland Scenics Grade Crossings. Now, it is two sets, so let me just point that out. If you look carefully, there is a seam in the middle, So that because this is for a single road, of course. So this one set and one set would be fine, but of course, we've got a double lane road, and we're going across two tracks, so I did have to purchase two of these. But to be 100% honest, I could not be more happier with that. We'll probably just add a touch more color as we come along and clean it up and blend it. But the way we've created that road now, and we've got our rail crossing, and as you come off driving in this direction, you've come off the dusty road and it sort of will bleed onto here. I think that's not too bad at all. The roadway does need a nice sort of a clean up at the moment. We're not going to waste too much time with that. Again, once the rest of the scenery sort of taken place, we can come over and give it that final 
clean that it deserves, but things are only going to maintain to be a little bit dusty and dirty just for the time being. Just going to bring you in nice and close here. Regarding these footpaths, and uh, we'll clean that up a little bit later, but just to point this section out, just regarding, as you can see, I do have a little uh, strip here of some of the edging that was used to create the gutters. I do want to just point this out. So what I've just used there is this kit from uh, Knock. Uh, that allows me to do that and create some lovely edges with it. I will just say it's basically a sort of a laser cut type of material. So expect to do a little bit of cutting out to get to what you need. It does come with the appropriate curves, but I think it does just give a nice little effect. And the spoon drains that you see are of course made out of plastic spoon straws because someone's got to use them and I just cut them up and put a little paint of concrete uh, color in there to try and create a little bit of a natural spoon drain. Again, once we've sort of got this landscaped up and a little bit of green and all that texture in, that whole area will look quite good. But I'm very happy with how that's turned out. And ladies and gentlemen, as always, that is now the feature crossing that we've been working on. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me today, girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen. It's been an absolute pleasure sharing the progress of what it's taken. This particular video has been many months in the making just to get this one section at a point I'm quite happy with. We've still got a lot more work to do. We're gonna come back and have a quick chat about this stock crossing that I've created over here. And we'll keep updating you with the progress as we go, as we're getting closer and closer to getting that track finally all linked up and seeing a train run along it. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Toodles.